trying to be more politically correct. I what? I am offensive at times. I am not offensive. I am honest and oh, oh hi, howdy to you. My name is Joey Bob, or as my mother used to call me when she was angry, Joseph Robert. You come here right now. And I sure did go there as a jackrabbit, because my mother knew where the switch was, and she knew how to use it. So, anyway, I'm here as a new presenter for Strategic Studies and Gaming, presented by Move to Attack Games. And uh, I'm really happy to be here. I met the, that General Hindsight, and uh, he seems like a really nice guy for Yankee Blue Belly. Now, at Star Wars, though. I think he's a homosexual. I'm not really sure. I've never met a homosexual before. That is live one. Anyway, I'm here because my great great grandpappy stood alongside Stonewall Jackson at Henry Hill House. Now, of course, that was at the first Battle of Molasses, as many of you Yankees may know, as the first Battle of Bull Run. Now, it turns out the Yankees used to name the battles after the rivers or streams that were nearby, and us Confederates, we named the battles after the towns or cities that were nearby. So it was Manassas Town that was closest near the Bull Run River. Anyway, uh, that's just a little tidbit there for you. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you're playing Trivia Pursuit, maybe you'll get that as a question. Um, the reason why I'm here is I'm here to present the alternative or the different history that happens out there in the past. Because as we all know, it's the winners who write the history. And losers, their side of the story is not always told. So I'm here to present the loser side. Now, why me? Well, I kind of wish the Confederacy won the war. And unfortunately, we didn't. And I want to discuss that because many people say that the American... Civil War was fought about slavery. Now that, that's not really true. Because if you think about it, only 5% of the Southerners even owned slaves. They didn't have slaves. They hardly could afford them. They were expensive. It was by, like buying a Cadillac. Anyway. And most of the slaves, believe it or not, were only owned by 2% of the population. And then General Robert E. Lee commander of the Northern Army of Virginia, didn't own a single slave, and was actually opposed to slavery, and was against it. But, he loved his country, and that's why he fought for the South. Now, most of you think country is the United States, but in those days, country was your state. So, when Virginia seceded, he went and fought for Virginia, because he was a patriot. Now, it is true that the South broke off when that Republican, Abraham Lincoln, was elected. Now, Lincoln didn't say he was going to free the slaves in the South. But what he did do was he promised that any new territories out South that joined the Union would have to be free states. Now, we weren't stupid. We understood that if all these new free states entered the Union, that means you'd have congressmen and senators out in Capitol Hill and sooner or later, they'd outnumber us southern states. And then they'd vote out slavery. Even though, hey, so I guess it was about slavery. That's strange. I never thought of it that way before. But yeah, I guess it was. Because if Lincoln was elected, and those new states came in, and then Congress was dominated by mostly free states, they would have abolished slavery peacefully. Now, you may wonder, why would a bunch of southern boys, good old boys, who didn't even own slaves, why would they fight the Yankees against, you know, to try to stop them from taking slavery away, when it was only 5% of the population that even owned slaves? Now, think about it. Most of them were poor farmers. Okay? In those days, most people just worked the land. And when you're a poor farmer, and you have nothing, at least you weren't a slave. So, they kind of fought for it. Part of them, they said they fought for the state's rights and everything, but I guess it really was about slavery. But don't tell anybody I told you that, especially my friends back home. 
okay? Anyway, that's it for me from Joey Bob, and uh, thank you for presenting. Hopefully I didn't insult anybody. You know, I was just telling the truth, and I hope that doesn't offend you, and if it does, you should learn to get a spine. Anyway, this is Joey Bob. Until the next time I do a presentation, and I want to say to you, keep your beer nice and cold and your powder dry. Okay, now was that okay? What did I say offensive? And the rooster crows, see now. And the rooster crows, see now. And again, the last, see now. And again, the last, see now.